We continue our work on uh, identifying uh, biochemical abnormalities within immune cells in patients with lupus. And uh, we've been doing that for a number of years, at least 20 years. And we've been successful in identifying uh, molecules that are abnormally expressed and which can serve as targets for treatment. Also in doing so, we'll try to identify molecules that can serve as biomarkers, molecules that uh, can help us uh, uh, diagnose the disease a little bit earlier and hopefully uh, uh, follow disease activity down on. More recently we have uh, established a T-cell gene array, expression array, which uh, we can use to evaluate the expression of a number of genes simultaneously and uh, through some mathematical manipulations to generate uh, what we call a T-cell score and use that for to, di to, 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 to help us make diagnosis early uh, make a differential diagnosis much easier and we believe it can help us follow disease activity and make treatment decisions based on that. Lupus is not one disease, by no means. Uh, I believe every person has her own disease. In every person you have different uh, pathogen pathogenic pathways leading to disease expression and uh, if you lump them all under the assumption that one uh, drug or one target will treat them all will be wrong. Uh, this is what I believe has uh, uh, caused the failure of so many clinical trials um, and until we start understanding the mechanisms that are involved in the expression of each patient or groups of patients, uh, we'll, never be, uh, we'll never meet any success. In, in patients with lupus, I believe uh, uh, the, it goes far beyond genetics. We need to understand how the environment alters the expression of, of, of genes, uh, how that leads to aberrant expression of uh, central molecules that determine cell function, and I would say not only the function of, uh, of immune cells, uh, the function of uh, resident cells in organs that are, uh, that are involved, so you have a patient who has inflammation of the kidneys and another one has inflammation of the skin. It is the local factors, local expression of molecules that will allow the inflammatory process to go on and execute damage. I would submit that the mechanisms that are involved in the expression of skin and kidney disease may be completely different. We have in the lab a model where um, the skin disease involves completely opposite mechanisms than uh, the kidney disease. So if you apply the same drug to target to treat one organ, you may destroy the other one. And if that is true for two different organs in the same organism, in our case a mouse, then it is so wrong to assume that these two different patients will involve exactly the same, the same mechanisms. So it will be important to develop strategies where we can understand in, uh, how, what mechanisms are operating in each patient. And then, uh, knowing the dominant mechanism in each patient, uh, devise a strategy to treat them. Mm -hmm.